Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. It is November 30th. Welcome to our Pilates class. So we're gonna spend the next 45 minutes together getting nice and strong from the inside out. All we need for Pilates is a mat and some good focus. I'm gonna practice breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, really getting the abdominals engaged in the breathing. Things to watch out for. No overuse of the lower back. If your lower back starts to bother you, take a break, regroup, and start back in. Same goes for the neck and shoulder, or if you're feeling tension up there, you're gonna take a break, regroup, and come back in when you can. Feel free to rest whenever you need to. I try to keep us moving so we don't cool down, but make this your very own practice. And every time we do Pilates, we discover something new. So we're always aware of how we're feeling when we're performing the exercises. We're gonna start with some relaxation, so let's go down onto our backs. Let your arms be restful, let your sides, palms open to the sky. Gonna close our eyes and start to breathe deeply in through the nose, expanding belly back and ribcage on the inhale. And exhaling out through the mouth. And while you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, let's bring awareness to the arms. And I want you to stretch your arms long and straight from your shoulders to your fingertips. So simply tense the muscles in your arms. Now let the arms go soft and we'll do the same with our legs. Stretch your legs, stretching from your hips to your heels, really just tensing the legs. And then let your legs go soft. Now let's bring awareness into the belly. And I want you to feel like you're trying to draw the back side of your navel down and touch it to your spine without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of your body. And then we'll let that go. Try again, navel to spine, hold it nice and tight. And release. From there, let's inhale both arms to the sky and exhale all the way back behind us. Stretch out through all of your fingers, flex your feet, stretch your body really straight. And then let that relax. Let's lift the arms back up and return them to your sides. From there, left knee comes to our chest, give it a nice hug, flex and point your foot. And then do a slow roll of the ankle lead with your big toe. And then we'll go the other way. And then just allow your foot to release. From there, let's switch legs, pull the opposite knee in, start with your hug. And then your flex and point. And then roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then let's reverse. And we'll just rest the foot. Now let's bring both knees in nice and close to the body. Give yourself a big hug. Then we're gonna rock gently side to side, massaging either side of your spine. Come back to a neutral place, tightening the belly, press through the back of the ribs, and let's round up nose to knees chin to chest. Release and come back down. Try again engaging the belly, rounding yourself up and release back down. Once more we're going to round up. Now we're going to stay there. Thumb and index fingers form a triangle. Place lightly on the back of your head. Elbows open. Separate knees. Heels together. Toes apart. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now as you push out, toes together, heels apart, pull back in, heels together, toes apart. So we've got inhale, exhale, arrowhead, V, arrowhead, V, arrowhead, two more, arrowhead, one more, arrowhead, and V. Bring knees and feet together, scrunch up your toes, press through arches, pull back in, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, continue, flex your feet, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now just send the legs out straight, we'll do a point flex with our feet, four, three, two, and one, stay. 
Now let's stretch the arms at our sides off the mat. We're gonna keep the left palm up and the right palm down. Level two, you can bend your knees. Level one, you can rest your feet on the mat. So we're gonna pump the arms up and down, inhaling for five beats, exhaling for five beats, and then just flip your hands around. Inhale, five, exhale, shh, inhale, shh, switch, inhale, Switch. 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 and hold. Everybody needs to just head comes back down and breathe. All right, now we should feel a little bit warmed up and we're ready to move into our roll up. So let's rest our feet on the floor, knees together, arms behind our shoulders relaxed and open on the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna lift just the arms, feel your shoulders drop back, exhale, scoop the belly in to peel yourself off the floor, come up as far as you can. Then we inhale again, and exhale, press back down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, using the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders are dropped. Exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Now, if you're confident that you're not using your legs, push them out straight. Inhale, arms up, drop the shoulders back. Exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhaling from there, exhale, tuck, and we roll back down. Try again, inhale, arms up, shoulders are dropped, exhale, belly peels us off the floor, we stretch as far as we can. We inhale, and exhale, press back down. How about two more, inhale, arms up, shoulders are dropped, exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck. And we're back down for our last one, inhale, lift the arms up, shoulders are dropped, exhale, using the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, and then exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Now once we're back down, you're just gonna stretch everything nice and straight. Let everything relax, inhale the arms back up and return them to your sides. Let's bring the knees back up into the chest. Tightening the belly, we're gonna come up into our C-shape, arms off the mat. Bend the elbows, fingertips meet the shoulders. On the inhale, arms and legs push straight, open, close, just legs. Exhale, the knees bend, and then the elbows bend. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees. Couple more, inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees. One more, inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees, and then elbows. Let's give ourselves a nice hug and set the head back into the mat. Now we're ready for some leg circles. So we're gonna stretch our leg really straight. One or two is on the ceiling, arms at our sides. Level one, keep your right knee bent, foot on the mat, or level two, push out the right leg nice and straight. Left leg crosses right, circles out and up. So I want you to trace a circle on the ceiling that's about the size of a large beach ball. And notice that nothing else is moving. Last circle. Go the other way. Out first and then in and out. Last two. One more and remain there. Now let's bring the other leg up. 
So starting with legs together, we're gonna inhale, lower the legs down, exhale, sweep around, they come back up. So it's inhale down, around and up. And we notice that any type of double leg movement is gonna be very challenging to that lower belly, which is why it's really effective, but hard on your lower back if your abs are not doing their job. Last two. Here's one more. And hold there. All right, now we're ready to switch. So we're gonna keep our right leg super straight, left knee bent, foot on the mat, or push the left leg out straight. Right leg crosses, left circles out and up. Last two, and one. Now go the other way. Out and around, in and up. Last two, and one. Keep the leg up nice and straight. Bring the other leg to join it. This time the legs are gonna sweep around and down, come together. Exhale, pull up. So it's inhale down, exhale, pull. Sweep around and up. Inhale around, exhale up. Inhale around, exhale, pull. Inhale around, exhale, pull. Inhale around, how about one more? Inhale around, exhale, pull, and stay. Now both legs circle around to the left and up, and then back around to the right. And these circles should be smaller now. So make them about the size of a basketball. Each circle has a beginning point and an end point. So it's not continuous. There's a nice little hesitation connecting with your breath. Last set, last circle. Fold up. All right, tuck your knees in. Ah, breathe. Very good. From here, let's roll up. And let's go ahead and work on row number one. So for row number one, I want you to sit up nice and straight. We're gonna keep our legs pressed together. We're gonna push out through the heels of our feet. Make a fist with your hands. Press your knuckles together and elbows are lifted. As we inhale, we're gonna scoop the belly in and pull back. On the exhale, the arms are gonna extend. Open wide, fold forward, chest to your thighs, hands lift up higher, and then we reach to our toes. Come back up, knuckles together, thumbs down, so we inhale, scoop back. Exhale, arms extend, opening wide, hook together, inhale, lift up, and exhale to your toes. Come back up, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scooping back. Exhale, arms extend, open wide, fold forward, hook together, inhale, lift and exhale to our toes. We're back up again, knuckles together, thumbs down, inhale, pull back. Exhale, arms extend, open wide, fold forward, hook together, inhale, lift up. Exhale to our toes. Again, we're nice and tall and straight, knuckles together, thumbs point down, inhale as we scoop, exhale, arms extend, open, fold forward, hook together, inhale, lift up. Exhale to our toes. And we're back up, let's try one more. Knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scooping back. Exhale, arms extend. Open wide, fold forward, hook together. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, reach to toes. And then we're back up. Once we're back up, let's bend our knees. And from there, we're gonna place our hands behind our thighs, relax our shoulders away from our ears. Find our balance on our tailbone. Big toes remain close, knees apart. Relax the shoulders and let your nose drop between your knees. Chin is drawing towards your chest. So level one would be like this. Level two, you can bring your hands across your shins. So we're using only the belly to pull us back and then only the belly to bring us back up again. So it's inhale back.
still try two more. Once we complete our final roll, we're just gonna stay all tucked in. And that's gonna lead us into single leg stretch. So we're keeping the left knee and we've got the right leg extended. And then we're gonna roll back until we end up in that C-shaped position. Right hand's at top, left knee, left hand goes atop that left ankle, elbows open, and let's alternate. Knee to chest, toes to wall. Reach, 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 reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay. Switch, stay, switch, stay, switch, stay. Switch two more, switch one more, switch and stay. Now let's bring both knees tucked in. You're gonna rest your hands on your ankles or maybe here on your shins or down on the tops of your feet. As we inhale, start reaching the arms up and then stretch arms and legs straight. Exhale, sweep the arms around, tuck the knees in. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. So notice that the upper body is remaining in that C shape the whole time. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, one more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, and stay. Now we're ready for straight single leg stretch. So let's extend the left leg. Walk your hands up as high as you can towards your ankle. You can hold behind your calf, that's okay. But don't be putting your hands behind your knee or down here on your thigh, and we don't want any bent legs. So we're gonna get them really, really straight. The other one joins it. The left leg starts to draw towards your face, and the right leg's gonna pull away from the face, and then we switch. Last two, and one. All right, now it's double straight leg stretch. So let's keep the legs together, forming a thumb and index finger triangle. Level one, insert that under your butt. You're gonna keep your butt on the triangle. Level two, hands are gonna rest behind the head. We're all up in our C shape. Inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, pop the legs back up without lifting your butt. So it's inhale, lower. Exhale, pull, inhale, lower. down, everybody needs to chest, tighten the belly, and let's all come right back up into that C shape. This time, everybody put the triangle back of the head, extend the right leg out straight, left knee is in, and we'll start just alternating the legs in and out. Noticing that there's no movement in the hips. Four, three, two, one, stay. A little higher up, bring opposite armpit across to the knee, and then we switch. Lift, twist, 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 lift, twist. Do eight and six and four, three, two, stay. Switch, stay, switch, stay. Switch two more, switch one more, switch and stay. Knees tuck in, head comes down and breathe. Ooh, let's rest our feet on the mat, stretch your arms out wide. Cross the right leg over the left, and then just drop both knees to your left as you look right. We'll come back up, change the cross of our legs. Let the legs drop to the right as we look left. And then come back to that neutral place. And then from there, let's uncross the legs. Slide your arms in a little closer to your body, palms facing open. Keep your feet apart about hips distance. We've got toes and heels out and enough space between your gluteals and your heels so that when we lift into bridge, we're really activating our hamstrings and our gluteals. We don't wanna feel this in our quads or knees. So we're tightening the belly and slowly peeling up. Press up as high as you can into your bridge without feeling any weight in the neck. And then exhale, 
all the way down one segment at a time. Again, inhaling, we're peeling off the mat, pressing up. And exhale, we're slowly melting back down. Again, tighten the belly and we're peeling up. And then exhale, we're slowly melting down. Inhale, tightening the belly, we're coming up. And exhale, slowly back down. Inhale, let's peel up slowly. Now I want you to maintain your bridge. Pull your left knee and extend it nice and straight and then lower and lift. Flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up. We've got four and three. How about two and one? Keep it up, little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it, flex your heel, drag the heel all the way down. Slide the foot back into place, and we're back to our two-footed bridge. Switching legs, right knee and extend to the sky. Lower lift, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, three, two, and one. Hold up, a little higher. Circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big hold. Flex your heel, drag the heel all the way down, slide the foot back into place, press a little higher into that bridge, and then exhale one vertebra at a time, release to the mat. Once we've made it all the way back down, knees to chest, nice tight hug, Let's do a gentle rock side to side, and then just some knee circles around and around, and then we'll reverse. Good, and then from there, just hug the knees in super close. Very nice, let's go ahead and roll up. Once we've made it back up, we're gonna sit up nice and straight and tall. If you want to, elevate your hips. You can slide another rolled up mat under your hips or a pillow. We wanna be able to sit with straight legs and a straight spine. Pushing out through the heels of our feet, arms open wide, palms to the sky. Imagine balancing a cup of tea on your head. On the exhale, we're gonna tighten the belly and rotate to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale. So every time you're rotating, you're pulling the belly a little tighter. That's going to be the only change. On the inhale, we're going to rotate to one side. Exhale, we're going to slice off your pinky toe. Make sure your back arm is in a straight line with your front arm and you're not lifting your opposite hip. Inhale, come up, rotate. Exhale, extend. So we inhale, lift, twist, exhale, inhale, rotate, exhale, inhale, rotate, exhale, inhale, rotate, exhale, lift, twist, extend, lift, Twist, extend, lift, twist, extend, lift, twist, extend, lift, twist, one more, lift, twist, extend, lift, center, and arms down. Shoulder rolls back to front. Very good. All right, remove your elevation if you're using it. We'll bring our legs back together. And then from there, let's bend our knees and place our hands behind our thighs. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your belly button tight. Balance on your tailbone. And without any roundness to the back, start to extend the legs. Go where you can without letting the back round. And then let's re-bend and try again. So extending, extending, extending. And release. Again, let's extend. And then I want you to maintain and add your arms. And then we're gonna lower and lift the arms down, up, down, 
up, down, up, four, and three, and two, and one. Big hold. Now let's open slowly down, down, to the ground. Once there, flex your feet, extend out to your fingers, breathe. Good, and then let your body go soft. Now we're gonna keep the legs straight, that's closest to the front edge of your mat. Bend the back knee, foot on the mat so you can roll onto your side. Once you've made it onto your side, make yourself parallel with the edge of your mat. And you can either remain on your forearm with your elbow directly under your shoulder, no sagging through the ribs, or you can stretch your bottom arm out straight. We're all gonna lift the legs up, move them to the front edge of your mat, take them a, a little bit farther. So you have a good boomerang shape to the body, got a little bit of internal rotation of the hip, gonna lift and lower, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Inhale, exhale, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale, now let's reverse it. So you're gonna flex, point, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, exhale, one more, exhale, inhale. Slide your toe up your inner thigh, extend the leg flexed and pull it down. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, one more, four, two, three, four, five. Now let's reverse. Make it a flex lift, point, then touch and slide. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four. Last one, four, two, three, four, five, and six. From there, let's bend both of our knees. We're gonna keep the knees down, but elevate the feet and top legs in a press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, four more, press, three, press, two, press, and one. Rest the feet back down, re-extend those legs. Now lift your top leg, we're gonna maintain it hip level, a little bit of internal rotation. On the inhale, pull the leg forward, flex your foot. On the exhale, we're gonna stretch all the way back behind us without moving those hips and we're reaching through the toes. So we inhale front, exhale back. Let's try one more, front and then back. Now we'll do a big rond de jambe. So leg goes front, up, behind and down. Sweep front, lift up behind and down, sweep front, lift up, behind and one more, sweep front, lift up, behind and down. Now let's go backwards, reach back, lift up, come down in the front, reach back, lift up, and down in the front, reach back, lift up, and try one more, back lift, and down in front. Now bring your leg back to that neutral position, internal rotation, quick circles, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold up and then let that leg go down. Now we're gonna lift top, bottom, bottom, top, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. One more time, up, two, down, two. Both legs lift and circle five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, and then just keep your legs up. Go a little more, a little more, and then finally, all the way down. Now let's roll to your belly. And stretch out through arms and legs, fingers and toes. Slide your hands under your shoulders, tuck your elbows in, press through the tops of your feet and your hip bones. Lengthen through the top of the head, begin to lift upper body. And then take your time as you push all the way back, tailbone to heels, forehead to the mat. Scoop the belly in, come on up for a nice cat stretch. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart cow. And then just make your way into a nice all fours. Foundational hands, widespread fingers, hands turned in slightly, pressing down through the second, third, and fourth knuckles of both hands. From here, we're gonna extend the right leg and the left arm out. Exhale, lower switch, inhale, stretch. 
Exhale, lower, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. So this is gonna be level one. And you're just gonna continue this at your own pace. Level two people, it's gonna be all about the plank. So for level two, first thing we have to do is build ourselves a plank. We don't want any saggy hips or butts in the air in a nice straight line. Let's lift the right foot not too high. Push towards the left heel. Come back onto the ball of your left foot. Set the right foot down and switch. So it's lift, press, pull, lower, switch. 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 Lift, press, pull, last one. Lift, press, pull, lower, stay. Ease to the knees, the tops of the feet. We all stretch back and breathe. Good work. Let's walk our hands closer to our knees. Come back around in the seat. And once we're back into our seated position, we're going to bend those knees and place our hands behind our thighs once again. Relaxing the shoulders. Back is nice and straight. Find your balance. And when you're ready, move into that teaser pose. Add the arms. And then we're going to slowly open down, down to the ground. Once we're down, sweep the arms around, palms face up, big inhale. Now on the exhale, we're going to pull ourselves back up using the belly. So level one, people, feel free to bend your knees, help under your thighs. Once we're in balance, we inhale. Then we exhale and lower back down. Try again, arms around, palms face up, inhale. Exhale, pulling up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening down down to the ground. Try again, arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, pull up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening down, down to the ground. Again, arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, pulling up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, going down, down to the ground. Let's try one more, arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, pull together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening down. Down to the ground. Once we're down, flex your feet, extend out through your fingers. Breathe. Good. Now keep the front leg straight. Bend the back knee. Put on the mat that's just helping you roll onto your side. So hopefully you're on your opposite hip. Remember, we can stay up on the forearm or we could come all the way down on a straight arm. We're lifting our legs, moving to the front edge. And then a little beyond that, so you have that good boomerang shape to the body. We've got internal rotation at the hip, and we lift and lower. Point, flex, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more, inhale, now reverse. Make it a flex and a point. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more, exhale, last one, exhale, inhale. Trace a line up your thigh with your toe, extend the leg, flex, and pull it down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four. Last one, four, two, three, four, five. Now let's reverse. Flex, point, bend, touch, slide. A one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, Three, four, last one, four, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's bend both of the knees. We're gonna keep our knees down, but lift the feet, and we lift and lower. Press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull. Four, and three, and two, and one, stay. Let the feet come back down. Re-extend your legs into that boomerang shape. Top leg's going to stay hip level. Little internal rotation at the hip. Inhale, pull forward, push out through the foot. Exhale, reach back with the toes. So it's inhale front. Exhale, pull, inhale front. Exhale, pull, inhale front. Exhale, pull, inhale front. Exhale, pull, inhale front. Exhale, two more, inhale front. Exhale, pull, last one, inhale, front. Exhale, pull, and stay. Now let's do the big rond de jambe. So it's front lift, 
behind and down circle front lift, behind and down circle front lift, behind you one more circle front lift, behind and down. Now go the other way, reach back, lift up, come down in the front. And we're doing this without moving the rest of the body. Sweep back, lift up, and down two more. Sweep back, lift up, and how about our last one? Sweep back, lift up, and then down and fold it. All right, very good. From here, we're gonna just draw little tiny circles. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, reverse. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, and then let's lower the leg. Now we we'll lift top, bottom, bottom, top, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Two more sets, up, up, one more set, up, up, down, and down. Lift both legs, circle around five, four, three, two, one, and then go backwards for five, four, three, two, and one. And then just keep the legs up, try to go a little more, a little more, and then finally, all the way down. Beautiful ones for down, we'll land to your belly. Nice long stretch out. Reaching, 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 reaching. All right, from here, we're gonna bring the elbows in close to the body, remain on your forearms. Press down through the hip bones, lengthen your spine, and lift that chest. So imagine you've got ski poles in your hands, and we're gonna hold on to those ski poles, and we're just gonna do a little staccato kick in with one foot, and then bring it down and switch. And you can do this with your feet kind of pointed or flexed, it doesn't matter. So it's exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, good job, let's release. Come all the way down, you can turn your head off to one side. Now for double leg kicks, we're gonna keep the legs pressing together, hands come together behind your back and let them hook, and then bring them out of your low back, kind of to your middle back, and pull your elbows down. So you wanna feel a really good stretch across that upper back and back shoulder area. As we exhale, three sharp kicks to your butt. One, two, three. Inhale, pull arms and legs straight. You look straight ahead. Turn to look the other way, elbows down. Kick two, three. Inhale, stretch. Exhale down. One, two, three. Inhale. Stretch, exhale down, kick, 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 inhale, 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 last one, exhale down, kick, 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 inhale, stretch, hold it. Now separate your legs no wider than your hips. Bring your arms around so they're alongside your ears. Palms are sort of facing upright. And then start to pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Lift. A little more. And sink to the bottom. Good, let's place our hands closer to our shoulders, tuck our elbows in. Again, pressing through the tops of the feet and the hip bones. Lengthen the spine, pulling up to the top of your head, rising up. And then continue to press all the way back until your tailbone meets your heels. And feel that really good stretch down your spine into those gluteals. Foundational hands, scoop the belly in, round the spine, let's come up for our cat. Sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open cow. And then just make your way back to your neutral spine. Very good. And then from there, we'll just come around in a seat. And we can sit tailor style. All right, let the shoulders fall open, keep the head held high. And then just let your fingertips extend out to the mat. As we inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna lower just the left arm, reach a little higher with the right, and then side stretch to your left. And kind of push that right heel of your hand to the sky. 
We'll inhale, lift back up, and exhale that arm down. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, lower just the right. Stretch a little higher with the left, and then side bend to your right. Left palm to the sky. Let's lift back up and float the arm down. Shoulder rolls go from back to front. Let's change them into a little bigger arm circle. And some really full arm circles. Four and three and two and one. And then just open your arms into a heart really wide. Pull your hands together. Ooh, all right, guys. That was our Pilates workout for this morning. Hopefully, you're feeling nice and powerful from the inside out. Don't forget to hydrate. Nothing worse than dry muscles, so keep them nice and juicy. Uh, make sure that you're spreading around random acts of kindness, that you are still wearing your mask when you're out and about, especially indoor places when you're around others. Um, and I thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tonight to let you know what's taking place tomorrow. So I have, hope you have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.